How to Model Multiplication. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. What is multiplication? Multiplication is an operation used to find the total number of items in a given number of equal size groups. When you multiply, you combine equal groups to find how many in all. Today, we will learn three ways to model multiplication, but first, we will learn some important vocabulary words. Let's look at this multiplication equation. This is the multiplication symbol. You read it as 3 times 4 equals 12. The multiplication symbol can also mean groups of or rows of. We'll talk about that in a little bit. These two digits are called factors. Factors are the numbers you multiply. And the result of a multiplication equation is called the product. The first factor tells how many groups or rows. The second factor tells how many in each group or row. The product tells how many in all. You can model this equation using equal groups. And remember I said the multiplication symbol can be read as groups of. So we can read this equation as three groups of four. So we are going to draw three big circles for the groups. One, two, three. The second factor tells us how many in each group. So we're going to put four in each group. We find the product by adding them all together. So we can also model this equation using repeated addition. Your repeated addition equation would be four plus four plus four, and that equals 12. The last way we are going to model this equation is using an array. An array is a set of objects arranged in equal rows and equal columns. Rows go side to side and columns go up and down. A little trick that I use is I think of the L in column and that reminds me that columns go up and down like the lowercase l. So let's read this equation as three rows of four. We're going to need three rows of circles with four circles in each row. This is called an array. And the way we find the product, the answer to this multiplication equation, is we can skip count the rows. So we know there's four in each row, so let's skip count each row. Four, eight, 12. 12 is our product. Now it's time to get a piece of paper and a pencil. Are you ready? Let's practice. Draw two lines on your paper just like this so you have four work sections. In the first section, write the equation five times three equals. In the second section, I want you to model this multiplication equation using equal groups. In the third section, I want you to model this equation using repeated addition. And in the fourth section, I want you to model this equation using an array. Remember the first factor tells how many groups or rows, and the second factor tells how many in each group or in each row. Press pause to give yourself as much work time as you need, and then press play to check your answers. If you need a little help, go back and rewatch how we modeled the first equation. Do your answers look like this? Five times three equals 15. If so, great job. And if not, don't worry about it. Keep practicing and you'll get it. Go back and rewatch the beginning of the video and then try again. Thank you for watching.